Real Agriculture's coverage of Agritechnica 2019 is brought to you by Bravant. Seed. Yield. Easy. Sean Haney here with Real Agriculture. We're at Agritechnica 2019 and joined right now by Clemens Olmeyer from Samo. Uh, Clemens, how's it going? Yeah, fine. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Nice for having me. Thank yeah. you. It's nice to chat with you. Okay, so we're seeing, because of the pressure to remove glyphosate from the market here in Europe and even starting to begin in North America, we're seeing more mechanical removal of weeds. And right. you have a silver medalist award right. here at the show. Right. Uh, tell us about it. Yeah, the silver medal for us was also a surprise. Of course, we are a small company starting at the moment new with, with mechanical weeding and we are kind of a team of, of, of specialists also in agricultural. Yeah? And a buddy from us had the idea, you know, he was, he was let's say, pissed off yeah? to, to adjust the machine one and a half hours yeah? for small plants, for big plants, and we searched a solution for this. Yeah. So what you're talking about there is to, to change the width of the cultivator basically was taking way too long, and so right. now you've added a lot more flexibility where you can basically do that now from the cab of the right. tractor. Right, right. So you have just a potentiometer on the cab, and you are adjusting it from, 70, for, from 7 centimeters up to 22, depends on the size of the plant, just from the, cab, from the tractor cabin. Normally you need the range, and, and screwing and screwing one hour, two hours, and now you can do it within seconds in the cabin. Wow. And that's adding a lot of productivity. You know, as you're switching from a crop like, say, corn to right. a crop like uh, winter rape or canola in North America, yeah. uh, that, that's you got to change those widths, and less downtime means more time going through the field. Uh, right, right. Depending, it's you know, when you have different fields, or even in North in, in North America, when you have huge fields where even the plant size is different in the same field, you will not stop in the field to adjust the machine again. If you can do it on the tractor, you will do it, and you yeah. you have productivity. Have you been able to figure out at all interplant cultivation mechanically? Are you working on that at all, yeah, or right. yeah, are you doing that? Yeah, yeah, that's the next step. You know, when you have the the, the row lining in control with the vario chop option, when you are go really going close into the row to the row, the next step, of course, is interrow cultivation. Yeah, we'll we'll see. Maybe in the next two years they have the silver medal or a gold one. Yeah, let's oh, say. Yeah. I think you get gold for that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, right. so uh, we're, we're looking at some pictures here of the footage of, of the tillage unit. Uh, what are those fingers at the back end of the machine? Yeah, those fingers are, are finger weeders, they are called. They are rubber fingers to get even closer to the row. Even closer to the row. They are made from rubber, so they are not, not damaging the plant in itself. They are damaging the weed or to kill the weed. So this is what they're made for. Yeah, th this has been a great uh, discussion. Really thank you for joining us here today. And good luck with the uh, silver medal. And hopefully, hey, maybe there's some distributors in Canada want to talk yeah. to you. Yeah, of course. We are happy to hear from them. <laughs> of course. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.